What's up, Zox fam? And we're back with some more Dislight. Now, we're going to be getting into the events that's going to be coming up. A lot of you guys were requesting this, so I wanted to fit this in between the character overviews so that you guys knew what exactly you need to be preparing, what you're going to be getting. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Definitely make sure you guys are liking and subscribing to the channel. I'm going crazy. I know, I know, I know. It's a lot of uploads, but listen, it's a lot of content. So with that, guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, now, the first thing, guys, I want to actually dive into um, is actually going to be the events tab here. Uh, now, it is going to be a event called the Star Shuffle, which we did see in all the preview and the patch notes. We've seen this actually um, as a event that you'll be able to get nicks for free, right? Uh, now, the cool thing about this is that this event um, is just going to require you to do your daily. So I actually saved my keys. I didn't do them yet. Uh, but if we collect the keys here, right? So let's go ahead and collect all those. Now, if you want to be that spender that, you know, you might be on the inside, you can spend a thousand Nexus crystals uh, to get some extra keys, but that is entirely up to you. Um, again, that is entirely up to you. All right. Now, uh, what you essentially do, you pretty much traverse, you hit a box and you get rewards for um, hitting, you know, like go or going through these boxes. You need to collect these uh, white stars right here. Uh, so you pretty much would click around. So like there, I just got my first star. Uh, not only would that give me, you know, a gold record at the end, but it then will unlock the next portion uh, to then ultimately get me to getting my free legendary Esper mix all right so that's pretty much that uh now obviously we still have the warm spring that's going on so just keep logging in for that guys for the goodies that that's going to give now this is actually the event um for markiplier and i know a lot of people are like yo there's not many units with beards in this game well apparently there is and i guess they're considering everyone including the furries which is pretty Pretty cool, I guess, right? Uh, but this is Markiplier's event. Uh, essentially what this is, is you just do daily quests and there's specific uh, stages that will drop uh, these pink beards uh, and you pretty much are capped at five a day. So it's pretty much like a daily thing that you just do um, and you will get rewards for that um, leading up to some memorabilia stuff. So like the beard contest name card uh, and the beard contest frame uh so even though I, you know i know a lot of people were expecting or hoping that markiplier was going to be a playable character um it is again still more resources so i'm not really complaining there and it's just always nice to have crossovers like this because it's just going to help bring in more players um you know seeing that dislike is doing such an amazing job i think overall with you know from where they were originally so that's that okay guys so moving along we have the ritual miracle conqueror all right now uh the way that this works and i wish they would have broke this down this way in the patch note so it would have been a little bit more transparent but the way that this is actually going to work it's going to be a mission um that you're going to be able to do every single day uh for chronos a pep and for fafnir that's going to give you shards for um each day right uh and what i mean by that so for example it says complete difficulty seven or higher three times to claim the following rewards which a new resource which is the main wave uh nonorn uh which is the uh uh is the resource that is required to be able to fuse the fatum sisters now the thing is about this if we go to tap to go right i collected it for the day but it says rewards left 29 so what exactly does that mean that means in your first 30 days of you playing, so say you're on a fresh account or you're, uh, you know, say you're, you're doing this as an end game player. So this is for everyone. It's going to take you 30 days to get 30 of the waves to be able to get the Fatum Sisters for free, which, again, I don't think it's as much of a problem and really more so the fact that that wasn't that clear. I think that, again, just like in your best interest, stating what these things are in terms of timing is really really important so it's going to take you about 30 days to get this uh this free character which again it makes sense they're doing this because you're, they're giving it to you for free all you got to do is daily stuff you gotta farm what you're doing anyway and it's just going to be a, pr a pretty much setting you up to be able to do the other content now the other thing is is that that's for the five star which is fair 30 days for one for a freebie five star and actually that's going to be for two five stars in 30 days it's actually pretty nice considering right now for the four stars it's going to take you about 10 days to get their copies in ripple shards okay uh so that is i feel like it's pretty okay um if you're looking at getting max rezo 
it's gonna take you uh, about a few months, I think, if you're going this route. So this isn't including if you get them, say you pull the gotcha and you get them because you can still obtain them from getting you know them in the gotcha. So there's that. But if you're looking for max rezos, it's going to take you probably anywhere from two and a half to three months. I think in, in my head that sounds about right. I, I think I think so. Yeah, because it's base copy and then six extra copies for rezo. So somewhere around there, right? So my thing, my only gripe this like more transparency in the patch notes on this would have been lovely but i think that this is a good system again i think it isn't one of those instant gratification things um which is going to be you know obviously a dilemma for those that have been playing a lot longer and i think it's trying to find the balance in these kinds of events we've never gotten anything like this so i don't have anything to really necessarily compare it to outside of our regular fusion but i also get uh creating something that allows even fresher players to be able to work towards so I guess there, there, there's just kind of that catch 22 and having to meet in the middle ground there. But I think overall, it's free. It ain't really much I can really complain about. So it's just, it's just like that, right? Uh, so that's pretty much how that's going to work. Uh, now, outside of the Conqueror's mission, I think that's everything that is in the event tab. Now, we're going to go ahead and slide over to the actual event itself. Now, I'm not going to start or go into any of the event. I'm not going to go into the trial. I will have a separate video for all of that, guys. Um, what we're going to be focusing on is the missions and the shop itself. Uh, so in the shop, guys, you're going to be able to get your seven copies, the base copy and the six resos of Ude or Ude or Soap Dead. Now, I'm going to tell you guys this right now. I have a video that's going to be coming for her uh, at some point over the next couple of days, and she's ridiculous. And you're going to see why. She is, like, again, part of me was absolutely ridiculous. You do not want to miss out on this unit, guys. Like, if you have not been playing and you're not, you don't want to miss out on this unit. She is actually really ridiculous for support. And when you see why, it, it, it's just, too, it's a lot, right? So she's insane. So that's pretty much that, right? Um, you just pretty much do your missions, your task here. Uh, like, for example, if I hit claim all, I get that amount right there. Uh, and now I can redeem my first copy of her um, for uh, her base copy and start working on her, right? So you get a free max rezo unit. So again, another freebie that will come through the duration of you playing the event. So can't complain there, right? Now, if we go to the shop, just to kind of overview some of the other things that you'll be able to get. So obviously you got your mission shop. So you get your uh, soap that here. You get basic wave, op packs, gold, and basic experiment. Don't buy any of these until you actually have finished the uh, uh, soap debt purchases. Um, no point. These have unlimited purchases and this is just for excess um, uh, current event currency for the mission shop. That's literally it. Now, um, as you're farming during the event duration, there will be something uh, called stamina uh, shop points, I guess, or data chips. Uh, these are going to be accessible over the course of the event. So I already bought out everything uh, in the first like portion that was unlocked outside of the reset stone, um, the uh, gold stack, and um, the, the story voucher. So you get one shimmer record, two gold records. I think it was two flow records um two epic abilimons i think it was four epic starimon 10 or 20 elite experiment and i think it was maybe 20 to 40 advanced experiments somewhere around there i can't remember the exact numbers but yeah that's pretty much what the shop consists of and then in the next few days it's going to unlock another or next couple of days it's going to unlock another set legendary starimon gold record and then in the next few days it's going to unlock another set of gold records legendary billamon and more flow records so uh definitely make sure you pay attention to that when the event drops for us uh it will be unlocking in increments uh and then uh, there is going to be another resource as well which is going to be the snake tooth and this can be redeemed or this can redeem um you uh valuable rewards from i guess it's the is it the Lil Lil is it, I guess is how you say it, market uh during the dusk dusk and dawn event, and it's obtainable from opening chest in story mode and completing mission board missions during the event. So this will be uh, another resource that will become accessible throughout the duration of the event, giving us more uh legendary billamons, gold records, and flow records. So it's just really giving you a higher chance to be able to pull Athena. Um, is really all that this is, right? Uh, so that's pretty much that. Now, uh, again, I'm not going to go through the story or the trials. I don't want to ruin that. And I have a video coming for the trial. So that will be that. 
Um, now, outside of that, uh, I do want to uh, also make a clear a clarification on something that they said in the patch. Uh, they said uh, something about a boosted chance of being able to get uh, Athena and uh, Nyx. They were just referring to the Wishstone. I, I don't know why they worded it that way. They were literally talking about Wishstone. There is like no boosted anything on the Echo banner or uh, anything like that. It's just the Wishstones and that's it. So I just wanted to kind of put that expectation there so you weren't going into the update like, oh man, where's this at? Yeah, it actually wasn't a thing. It, they were literally talking about what already exists. So yeah, that's just kind of that. Now, I think that is pretty much everything oh actually no i'm lying i want to show you guys the fusion so the other thing that you're going to have as well so obviously this is where you would turn in your fusions as well uh so for the fate of sisters jin yu yao if you take a look uh, obviously you need the wave material here um and then you also are going to be able to when you make the full copy of them you raise them up to uh you know star rarity 5 level 50 uh, resonance 2 ascension 5 like your ascension phase 5 right uh that's going to allow you to then be able to uh, get that base copy now keep in mind guys you only can fuse one so that's why the requirements do require you to invest in those units a little bit um and the other thing is is that that's okay because these are actually units that are staple these are like units that even right now on my end game account that i'm currently using so that is not a bad investment same thing with the fatum sisters the only one i'm not using is freya but that's because i'm doing speed clears so so um, outside of that, though, the average player probably will more than likely be using Freya. Um, but yeah, now the last component I want to talk about is Camille. OK, how exactly are you going to get her? And I think that that was a really, really big thing uh, for a lot of players. Like, oh, how is this going to go? Is it going to be, you know, the resources from Deso? No, uh, it's actually um, going to be resources uh, that are really just missions attached to it. And that's going to allot you the resources. So, uh, for example, complete story chapter 10 on normal mode so you just go back i actually think that this might be retroactive so it just completed it for me uh but then things like donate 15 wish stickers in club complete uh, 15 club missions uh complete any calamity island floor 50 so it's just going to be you actually accomplishing more in the game uh, and this actually probably might be a little bit harder for players to be able to get max result because it isn't going to be relying upon uh just your desolate land uh, which I guess is fair, but I'm hoping that they actually do something with the excess desolate land resource. And I'm assuming it's going to be whatever comes out with Shade Mother. We might see more value coming there. So I guess we just have to be kind of patient and waiting and seeing what happens with that. But that's pretty much how it's going to go. That's everything that's going to be coming in this update, how it's broken down, how the event's going to look. Uh, I know that uh, a lot of it, it's, it's a lot to digest, but um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, but again, guys, let me know in the comment section how you feel about the update so far. Um, I feel like overall, this is a great opportunity, especially for those that are either returning, want to start fresh accounts, newer players coming in. You have a lot to work towards, a lot to look forward. Um, and I actually really feel like this in a position where this is an actual game. <laughs> like, I really do. So that's going to be that for this, guys. Let me know what you guys think. And stay blessed, stay charged up, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.